How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at the com we're going to be creating commands right? So this was supposed to be crafting rewards, uh, but I decided that it's been long enough waited and you guys do know enough already that you guys can start running commands and actually start being able to do stuff inside of those commands other than just send messages. So if you guys have been following along with the tutorial thus far, you should have a class that looks something very, or you should have a project that looks something very similar to this. So what we want to do is we want to go over into our main package here and we're just going to create a new class. We're going to call it commands. Okay. So now you don't have to do it this way. You can do it right here on your tutorial class. Um, but I want to advise also just a reminder, everything will be available to you guys on GitHub. So be sure to check it out and make sure not to skip around this video you guys, or you guys could miss some code that could uh, greatly affect your outcome of your plugin. Um, so like I said, you can do it right here on your main class, um, but you really want to keep your main class as clean as possible because this is where the magic happens more or less. Like this is where this plugin and the server knows that something is happening, right? This is where you pretty much register everything and everything for the most part gets started. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to do extends command execute and then we want to implements implements listener comma command executor i probably spelled that wrong like i always freaking do i did it all right and so now it's going to give you the option to hover over here and you can add the unimplemented methods and now this basically does all the legwork for you um pretty much from here you just got to write your command so we're going to change this r0 to sender we're going to change the command to cmd so the command sender is basically sending the command which can be the console or the player and then we have the command which is the actual you know slash whatever that they're typing uh, and then we have this label here I've never really had a use for it nor do I really know what it does I've never used it um, probably should probably should look into that because I like like I said I never never use it and then we just have our args here so we can just go ahead and call args and these are basically everything that follows after the slash whatever you're typing so the first thing we want to do is we want to check to make sure that the sender is a player. So we're going to go ahead and do sender instance of all lowercase capital player. And now this is checking to make sure that the sender is a player. And if not, we're just going to go ahead and just say sender dot send message check color dot red only players can use this command now I don't know if that's actually gonna show up right in the console um, but if not you guys can go ahead and call the main class and go ahead and do the plugin dot get server dot get console sender dot send message and do it that way if you're really worried about colors which I like to use colors so that way you know if something's wrong and so the next thing we want to do is this is you don't have to do this I personally like doing this I like to create a, a public string or basically a list of all of my commands so we're just going to go ahead and say cmd1 equals and we're going to give a player item we're going to give them items right we're going to give them one singular item so that way when i come back over to here i can when i have to type in all the stuff to register my command i can go ahead and do it easily without having to remember what i typed in for my command i can just go ahead and call cmd1 cmd2 cmd3 three four five six seven eight so on so on so on so on so on and we can do that the same inside of here too as well so what we want to do next is not add an S. We want to go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead. We want to do git command um, and then just go ahead and set some brackets up there or parentheses. But we actually have to create a private whatever you named your commands class. So we're going to call this commands equals new commands, right? So we need to import all that, which it already is imported, strangely enough. And so we want to do git commands, uh, commands.cmd1, and then we want to set the executor as commands. All right, so now our command is registered 
through code. But now we need to head over to our plugin YML, right? And we have to add it into here. So we need to go ahead and do commands. Uh, our command, which is give item. And then the usage, which is going to be forward slash less than sign command. And then bracket, well, greater than sign. And then the description, which is just going to be tutorial command. And go ahead and save that. Oops, actually, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we tab these over there. So that way this command has its own usage and description. And then we can go ahead and close that. And now we want to go ahead and check to see if the command equals give item. So we want to go ahead and say if cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case now we want to do equals ignore case because this is allowing us to have the player type it in however they want they could type it in as give item give item you know give item and it doesn't matter it's gonna it's gonna recognize that they want to run the give item command so if it equals dot cmd we're gonna go ahead and say and we're just gonna return this one true and then we're going to go ahead and have this do something. So we need to get an inventory here. Um, so what we have to do is we have to actually create a like a double cast here. So it gets kind of funky here. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to call for a player. And we want to cast that player. So we want a player. And we want to cast that to the sender. And then we want to go ahead and get inventory. So that seemed a little bit hard there. So I'll explain that to you really quickly here. So what we're doing is since the command sender is technically not a player, we have to create the, we have to cast the sender as the player, right? So we have to tell the uh, server that sender is now a player since we are saying it is instance of player. And then we can go ahead and get the inventory. We're just gonna go ahead and inventory add item new item stack. And then we're just gonna go uh, item and then one and so what we're doing now is this is going to be a little bit complicated here through here but just follow me so item doesn't equal anything yet right because we haven't said it's anything so what we want to go ahead and check for is we want to go ahead and create a new material and that material we're just going to call it item is going to equal material dot get material and then we're going to call it arg zero our args zero right so now we have our arg zero being the item that they want to get but before we do that if the player for some reason types in you know slash give item dog or that's not a good example meow that's technic that's not a material so it's gonna give us an error so what we want to do is if we want we want to check to make sure that this is what this isn't going to happen so we go ahead and grab all this code and let's just go ahead and add our return true in here and let's all right so now we need to go ahead and say if item dot equal or does not equal null we can go ahead and run this command else we're going to go ahead and get so we're going to have a sender dot send message and then we're going to go ahead and say chat color dot red or actually let's go ahead and say chat color dot light purple and then we're going to go ahead and grab args one that they typed in or sorry arg zero that they typed in and then plus chat color dot gold plus is and we'll throw a space in there is not a valid item so basically what's happening here is we're checking to see if the command equals this command up here, right? Or whatever you said it as. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. Then we're setting arg0 as a material, but we have to check to make sure that the material does not equal null or item does not equal null. And if it does, we're gonna send a message saying, you know, your item there is not a valid item. So if they type in something, you know, really crazy, um, it's not gonna come up. But if it does not equal null, so if it does not equal null, 
we're going to run this command. If it does equal null, we're going to run the else, right? So if it doesn't equal null, we're going to add that item to their inventory. And now you can do a couple of things here. Um, we can go ahead and say, we can do an if args.length equal equals zero. And what this is going to do is if our args equals zero, we can go ahead and say else. If our args do not equal zero, sorry, if our args do not equal zero. If they do, we're going to go ahead and say sender dot send message check color dot red not enough argue arguments. I think I totally butchered that word. Argue no, it's arguments. There we go. So we're going to say not enough arguments. And let's go ahead and export this. And this should work on the first try. Let's go ahead and see. OK, so we got an error here. And it's in our, OK, so it's in our plugin.yml. All right, there we go. So everything is working now. Don't use tab uh, just as a safe measure. Let's reload again just to make sure. All right, and so now let's clear our inventory. And let's go ahead and do slash give item and it's going to tell us not enough arguments and now it's going to say give item there because guess what we didn't do we did not return this as true um, that's not even the right one but we didn't do it there either so we got to make sure that we're always returning it true or it's going to show um, you know that the command that you actually just ran right so now we're going to do give item not enough arguments so then we're going to say give item one one is not a valid item so let's go ahead and actually change the colors of this. I know this isn't really the super important part, um, but I think it's good to just, you know, make things look proper. So it is an error, so we want it to be red because it's an error, right? So, so one is not a valid item. So what if we go ahead and say apple? Ooh, apple's not a valid item. And you know why? Because it's lowercase. So we actually have to change this, this uh, oh, where, where the heck is it? We have to change this arg zero here in the material to upper case because all materials in Minecraft work as upper cases, right? So we got to make sure that we are setting everything for the material to be an upper case. And what are we looking at in time? 13 minutes, not bad. All right, and then we can go ahead and give apple and you see there it worked. But now if we say, you know, give apple, you know, Apple is not a valid item, right? But now we can really do anything that you know the name of. So we can do TNT, stone, you know, uh, blaze powder. All right, so you know, see what's happening there is you have to actually know the Minecraft material names, which you can see uh, in here. So anything that's a two, you know, two digit name, um, it has to have an underscore underneath it, right? So blaze powder would actually have to be blaze under, underscore powder, and you'll go ahead and get blaze powder. And now you can code the, uh, a way to make it so um, if a player does type in something like that, you can add the underscore to it. Uh, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that because that is kind of complex, and we're not really going to worry about that. But that's all I got for you guys today. And you guys now know how to use commands, uh, so you guys can add commands into your server. And now you can add multiple commands, right? So by doing that, you can just create another one of these. And we can go ahead and change this to, uh, you know, uh, tutorial. And we're going to say command two. And then we basically just copy this right here. Um, all right, so we basically copy this right here. And, and if it equals command two, we can just go ahead and, you know, system dot out dot print one, uh, just cause I don't feel like doing a whole lot of code here. And, but now what we have to do is we actually have to register a new command. So we have to go here and command dot two, and then we have to go to our plugin dot YML and we can go ahead and just copy this, paste it. And this is going to be tutorial and tutorial command description doesn't really matter. You can keep those the same. And let's go ahead and export this, reload. And if we go ahead and do a tutorial, 
you can see that we're getting system.printout1 and we didn't return true, but that's okay. Just return that true. But that's all I got for you guys today. Once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, give it a share, share it with all your friends. Even if they don't think they want to learn how to code Minecraft plugins, go ahead and share it anyways. And once again, everything will be available to you on GitHub. So be sure to go on to my GitHub and check out all of the links on there and all the repositories. And make sure to follow me on Twitter at the underscore source underscore code. And that's all I got for you guys. So join me next time. We got some fun. We got some fun next time. I got pulled up on my phone here, so I'm stalling. What's the next video? All right, next video is going to be crafting rewards, which was supposed to be this video, but we're going to go ahead and do that next video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.